right. Yeah, yeah. Really? Um, is this a mulligan? Probably. Yeah. It would be like I only have eight planes. Essentially, I have to mulligan. This is okay. colors are in vogue apparently. It's probably red or white with the splash. Although you could argue um, hmm, interesting. So we need a heroic enabler. Don't know if I want to run out the phalanx leader on turn two or not. Probably not, but I don't know that I really want to run this guy out on turn two either. Yoke docks. Interesting. Uh, yeah, probably want to run them out now. Because this way I can... <coughs> Snapcaster, Titan Strength in the same turn. Reaper's Kiss. Alright, well, so it goes. Uh, this guy's deck is very defensive. Don't like that. But he only has three cards left, so. Yeah, now it's at four, of course. He his land. Three. Do, do, do. Hopeful Eidolon. Interesting. Well, this is just going to look suspicious. Uh, no, wait. Okay, so if I do... Actually, I'm not going to play the, the Snare Caster here. I'm just going to attack him. And then... Yep. Titan Strength. Kind of a two-for-one. Uh, yeah, we can put that on the bottom of the library. I'm trying to think about whether I want to even use the snare caster here. Probably I don't. I'll just hold up Magma Jet. If he tries to put something on the Hopeful Eidolon, I can get it. Scholar of Athreos. That's annoying. All those guys have a lot of toughness, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, fire off a Magma Jet at the Hopeful Eidolon. So I can get my Scry on. Alright, don't need that. That one's perfectly acceptable. He chooses not to block. No way. I'm oh, sorry. Ah, why do I keep doing that? Yeah, I'm not going to waste a Domus Onslaught to kill him. Instead, run out Phonetic and Mogus. Take two. And here we go. Kind of wish I'd taken that Minotaur Lord, but what did I take over it? I took the. Um, what's his face? The. Emissary of Perforos? I think that's correct. Emissary is very good. Very, very good. Alright. That's a nice thing to tap.
Yes, I'd like to use this ability. Attack in. See if he wants to double block. That would be pretty sweet, I think. Just chooses to do nothing here. Um, I'm okay bolting him for a scry. Wait, what am I doing? God, I'm so bad at this. Don't want him to start draining me out. Although he's he's got like decent amount of walls up. This is pretty annoying. Helio's emissary. So let's see, we've got Annex inside me. I probably just want to play that, I think. So he's going to attack in. <clears throat> he doesn't think there's any point to not attacking. I just walk him into that, and then, like, I don't. Yeah, I think I just let him walk into it. Although maybe what if I attacked with Let's see what if I attack with that guy too? That makes it less likely he's going to go into block. Yeah, actually I think this is okay. Perfect, kind of. So he takes four, I blow out the emissary. I think that was pretty good there. Although, yeah, I do like to have the heroic triggers with him in hand. Evangel for two one ones. Oh, sorry, three one ones. Eh, it's a little bit of an issue. Not that big a deal. That's not bad. So he's just going to suicide himself into something. Potentially. Um, I think, yeah. I think we're just going to have to let him suicide off into potentially a double block from the Evangels. And st that, that, or no, wait. No, he's got to trade off something for it. But it's probably just going to be one of the soldier tokens if he just block like puts all the. Eh, I don't know. He's got to, he's got to play around a lot of my tricks here. So. So I'll kill the only thing I can kill. Play this guy. He's got no cards in hand and no attacks, so. And we're up on life. This giving that flying is a decent clock eventually. We're in solid shape. If anybody top decked, which was probably something pretty good. Another Evangel? 
Sip of hemlock. Ooh, nice, nice draw, nice draw. Still doesn't really have attacks. Melton. If he attacks, I'll just trade with the thing here. Attacking with a lot of things. Okay. I mean, it is a little bit annoying here, but. As much fun as it would be to do that. No. And this is actually kind of annoying because he's mostly just going to be a blocker right now because I can't really attack because so he can just double block with the Balefell Adelon and the Soldier Token. And I mean, it's technically a two for one, but it's not a good one. That's not bad. Steady. That'll hide Minotaur, sure. Sounds good to me. That's not good. He has double flying. to see him hit my end. So I probably should have played this. Yeah, I definitely should have played it. I have the dragon thing. Definitely going to start playing these out. Probably going to be punished. Probably going to draw my uh, emissary next turn. And won't be able to bestow. Well, this looks like the win. Effect. Let me bonus it up by attacking with that. Sure. So this is lethal in the air, and then also. First strike kill. Yeah. All right, so what are we looking at? A whole lot of kind of crappy mediocre cards in black and white. Uh, I was thinking maybe like if, if I was on the play, maybe I should just go up to 17 lands on the draw. I'm willing to take my chances a little bit more. Um, He just showed no way to deal with flyers, right? And we'll let take that Crone Crusader. Probably. Doesn't seem like a bunch of 1-1s do that much against all those 1-3s and stuff, so... I know it does reduce the human count for that, but whatever. I didn't think I, oh, as I say, I didn't think I would like that guy, but he's actually all right. The 
Pegasus guy. Um, I'm gonna keep this because I got the Temple of Silence. I get a chance to scry for a mountain. I've got stuff I can cast without it. Okay. Top. Leave on top. Thank you very much. He's annoying. But not too bad. Cast that. Do want to try and keep uh, my red stuff? All right. Eh, I take two. That sucks. That kind of sucked. But at least it didn't cure my uh, annex in Siamid. I don't feel like there should be ands in cards. Like, it's just, like, it's a card. Trying to think whether well, I should just run out the Annex or the Skull Cleaver. I think just the Skull Cleaver hits for four right now. So I gotta show him two cards. Probably these two, right? And I'll probably just take the snare caster out. Like Yeah. I actually want the planes. And I went for the planes. Okay. I mean, eventually I'll draw a planes or some sort of land, hopefully. Actually, no, that's fine. He was probably gonna block anyway. I mean, I do have more planes in my deck than I do have snare casters, so. Once I hit one of the 12 remaining lands in my deck, I'm good. Really? Alright, I'll bite. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, let's do this. Get a heroic trigger off of it, if nothing else. Draw a card. That's a decent card. Um, yeah. Divine verdict. Okay. I wasn't going to be able to play around that for very long. I'm trying to think whether I want to keep the snare caster in hand or not. Yeah, I guess I keep it in hand. I mean, it doesn't do anything. I can't. 2 1 against 1 threes. It doesn't do bow diddly. Start by running out the Perforous Emissary. Ordeal's pretty bad against me. Or this ordeal, because normally my hand is pretty empty. Makes me wish I played him last time, but I got turns to go. Do 
do actually have to watch my own life total here. And let's see, he goes to a 3 5. Might double block. Definitely want him to have to think about it. Go ahead and double block. I mean, if he has it, it's bad. But if he has it, like I don't know, if he attacks again, turns this, this becomes a four, four, six. I have to discard two cards. I don't think I can really win at that point. So. All right, that's fine. Oh, this guy, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna drop the Mogus here, I think. Well, it's either that or the Emissary. Cast the emissary, then this becomes a little bit stronger next turn. But I think the four two is just better than the three three right now. Got one card left. No, I'll drop. I'll drop the emissary first. All right. Eh, I'm not going to live the dream and actually um, bestow that ge fine gentleman, so. Could have maybe snuck in some damage there. According to Overlord? He lives it's emissary. Okay, that's a bit of a clock. So we play this, tap that. Yes. Attacking with both of these. Blocks. Yeah, I probably shouldn't attack for that then. I mean, it is nice to have removal sometimes. Yeah. I should have attacked with the Disciple of Phoenix too, I think. Forced me to um, do stuff. Alright, so I really need to draw a Titan Strength. No, a Titan Strength doesn't really do it either. Um, so I'm just stone cold dead, pretty much. Let me think. Uh, do I, I can I actually sneak through enough damage to kill him? Uh, five, seven, eight. Tw yeah, I mean, if he doesn't block, I can actually blow him out here. Or, depending on what his blocks are, potentially kill this. Calvary Pegasus just crushed me right there. Just crushed my dreams.
So let's see. I can force through five, three, five, eight, eight damage. That's not going to be enough. And then, oh wait, he actually, well, that doesn't matter. He's just going to block that. I already showed him Titan Strength in the first game, so. I'll play it out for the hell of it. Damage. So I should just be able to attack for the win here. Yep, tap that. Alright, so he actually has a couple ways to deal with flyers. Uh, so, I think we take out one cavalry pegasus and add a planes. Plane on the play. Uh, maybe a crow and crusader would come in and what would come out? Not that, not that, not that. Can't just can't get this guy to work for me. Um, maybe the Wingsteed Rider, although that seems pretty good in this deck. Magic Perforos. Now I'll take. I'll I'll leave him on the sideline. Play first. All right. This is a hand. With that, probably just going to play the Cavalry Pegasus next turn. <sighs> yeah, that one. Yeah, Cavalry Pegasus is fine. So once I get to, like, these triggers are going to be nasty. I can just do, you know, hit him for one a couple times, that's fine too. Baleful Eidolon. Death Touch. Had to be Death Touch, huh? This cure is quite good against me. Maybe it's necessary. Okay. I can live with that. Tapping down this guy. What you got? It's 
It's got nothing. You got nothing. Yeah, alright. It's probably got Divine Verdict, but I'll still get the trigger, tap that down. Get through for five. <sighs> Man, that cure really uh, set me back quite a bit. Total Harpy, that's fine. He's got two mana left. An ox, okay. So we got Mountain, Silicon Fanatic, and Titan Stream. Alright. Good to just attack with both here. Box there. Yeah, that's fine. Take one. And take two more. Ordeal, okay. Why with more lands? So it just trades that there and that happens. Try and force it in, and no, that doesn't seem great. Trade that there, and I could draw a magma jet, that'd be good there. And I think I have to stop attacking. Do I just tighten strength off the trade there? Probably. Scry on. Alright, so I could blow the Titan Strength and not do much. I'll get a plus one, plus one counter, but that doesn't help me get through really. It's like a two, oops. It's like a two for two. Get that shit out of here.
All right, we're in top decking mode. He's probably got the advantage now. But we have fairly relevant draws, especially since we can now um, bestow that. Not so much anymore. Jesus Christ. That's an issue. That just, uh, yeah. Pretty much can't, can't, uh, can't win now. That's pretty brutal. Oh, it's gonna be so disappointing to go th go one and two with this deck. I thought it was good. Maybe I just suck at playing aggro decks. Maybe there's some way we can sneak in, catch him getting too aggressive. And... Probably not. Too many lands. Too many lands. Too many soldier tokens. That guy. He top decks Elspeth, I top deck Mountain. Sounds fair. It is fair. It's just not advantageous to me. That's also good. I just want to kill him because he's annoying. Is that is that okay? No, I have to hit the soldier tokens. Uh, one, two, four, six. I just, I'm going to make him show. I want to see what the uh, emblem looks like. on my turn. Let's see it. Let's see it. That's unimpressive. That's quite unimpressive. Oh well. Oh, that was depressing. Alright, I'll try and do better next time.